esteemed audience, welcome to yet another amazing episode of the Great Debaters Contest. We are camped at the Lakeside. This is Kisumu region. I am your host, Esperancia Kapanga. And I am Chris Boru. The bone of contention between our intellectual teams today is competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. Proposing this motion, we have Nyabondo High School. And opposing this motion, we have Ogandi Girls High School, making the premier appearance on the Great Debaters Contest. Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Competition is superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. I'm a woman to Nyakot, Nyabondo Boys High School, hereby to give you the, superior, the superiority of competition over cooperation in achieving excellence. It was said that what belongs to everybody belongs to nobody. And I came to realize this when I cooperated with my friend for a product, and truly that product was magnificent. But do you know what? That thing was ours. It was never mine. But I was told that to be successful, you must have something of your own, something that you, might, something that you have the opportunity to claim. Yes. And this is, this is what cooperation will never give, the right of independency, the right to defend what you were born to be. Take, for example, Bill Gates and Paul Allen in April 4, 1973, when they, when they joined together to form the Microsoft company in the New Mexico. Well, you know what? This group parted ways. Why? Because Paul Allen started seeing that this Bill Gates is trying, the, the name Bill Gates is the one which is coming out, and mine is not there. And so he parted ways and started his own company of Apple. By this, Microsoft is such a big company. Apple is also, is also a big company. What prosperous men we have. So mine is just simple. There is no way cooperation will help us achieve excellence because you are there depending on another person's idea. So ladies, mine to you. Please don't cheat yourself that you are achieving any excellence on another person's idea. And instead, be what you were born to be. Everybody was born with a destiny. So be, your, be yourself as an individual, be creative, be innovative, and you will achieve your excellence. Thank you. Pastor Poza, you have three minutes to make a statement. Well, perfect. Thank you, and allow me begin by establishing my credentials Lois Hamba is my name, and I'm a student from Uganda Girls. Just to echo on what has been said by my fellow proposer, my colleague is the first proposer. It is not that I want to contradict whatever thing you've said, because I want to assume that it is correct in your own perspective. But what I just want to tell you, however much all of us are born with a destiny, it might be that cooperation as a factor is what your destiny is. So kindly focus. I would like to oppose the motion by saying cooperation is superior to competition in achieving excellence. Cooperation, as per the definition in the Macmillan Dictionary, and that is the new ed edition, it defines cooperation as a situation whereby people, they come together and work together with one, with one perspective of having benefits for all of them. Competition, on the other hand, in my own definition, it involves a single person just trying to compete, maybe individually, to achieve something that by the end of the day, it is going to be beneficial to him or herself, individual. And so, cooperation is quite broad, so to make your understanding simpler, I would like to divide it into three parts. That is political cooperation, economic cooperation, and academia cooperation, political cooperation. In the field of politics, or let me say political sphere, a two warring factions, and that is two different parties, they always cooperate at one point. And as you all know, in the 8th August, that is 2017 elections, towards the early year, that is January in 2018, there have been two parties, two different parties. That is 
the opposition and the current government that is working right now in Kenya. So I would like to say that it is because of the cooperation that recently there was a handshake between them, that is the opposition and the government, that Kenya is now at peace and Kenya is indeed able to run its progresses. But were it that they had not cooperated and it could just have been Kenya, you wake up, you are just terrified. You don't know what is going to happen in the next moment because you are not at peace. So I would like to say that cooperation as a factor, it brings peace to us. Secondly, let me go to the economic sphere. It also enables us to have foreign investments. And it, by the end of it all, we are going to get revenue. So I want to tell you today, and without a shadow of doubt in my mind, that cooperation is superior to competition in achieving excellence. Thank you. Second proposal, you have three minutes for rebuttal. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Uh, competition is superior to cooperation to achieve excellence. My name is Jan Omondi Matunga from the only St. Joseph's Nyabondo School. First, uh, you said political cooperation, my first opposer. You said political operation. Uh, but in order to, for them to first cooperate, there must be competition so that we can see which government, which political party to take the win. Uh, if it were not for competition, they could have just come together and make a government without competition. Then what a country will it be without competition? Uh, Soviet, uh, let us come back to Russia in the world wars. Soviet Russia became a one party, a one party state, uh, together with uh, the Germany, the Nazi. But what, were, what was the result in the end? They became, uh, they failed very miserably. Other than the US, uh, which was very competitive. US is now a superpower. Why? Because of the competition in place. Uh, no, if you see, let us take an instance for North Korea. Uh, from the Amazon Wikipedia, we see that that North Korea in some, in, 20, in 2008 uh, decided that they are not going to, co to, compete, to compete with other countries. But from the analyzing of the Wikipedia, they say that it was a pathetic state, quote the words, pathetic, because they didn't want to compete. Then, I'm asking my fellow beautiful girls, why then cooperate? Why do we have to cooperate so that we can also become a pathetic state? So that means competition is much superior so to achieve excellence. Uh, let us say cooperation, as I'm a business student, and one of the things that cause cooperation is merging up of companies. And what do we know? If Companies merge, they'll create a monopoly. Let's take, for instance, Kenya Power. At the other, just recently, uh, the people in Nairobi were complaining that Kenya Power was tripling the bills. But you see, nothing could be done because Kenya Power is the only, only, only company providing us with power. So we can't do anything. Uh, but in conclusion, my stand is that competition without cooperation drives excellence. But cooperation without competition drives laziness. I rest my case. Second opposer, you have three minutes for your rebuttal. No, no, no. It's not laziness at all. We are not for competition to achieve winning. We are for cooperation to achieve excellence. From the heart of Asego, where the great water body lies, and the women in the place send their daughters on a run, saying, run like a cock of the first flight fleet. A finite from Uganda girls is strongly opposing the motion. First, I would like to tell you. Come on, just recently we did our election. What happened after the election? Election was a form of competition. 
and in, the com and in a competition, there must be losers and winners. Our losers from the opposition side, they kept on check on the government. What brought this? Come on, tell me. It brought br brutality. Can you tell me, Brookside milk production was not moving on. That is an economic, uh, uh, that is an, a, business, a business group that needs to proceed on for us to achieve economic excellence. Safaricom was never, uh, Safaricom could never move on because Raila, who was the opposition leader, said we can't move on because they lost the election. That was due to brutality, that was due to competition. That was what competition was able to bring. Now tell me, what, uh, what achievement of excellence did we get from that competition, I want to tell you, due to cooperation from the handshake, we were able to come up with peace. And now Kenya is at peace and we are now moving on. We are now achieving some economic excellence. Please don't tell me that competition without cooperation is laziness. I'm, I'm not against competition being a factor in achieving excellence. But I'm strongly against making competition superior to cooperation in achieving excellence. With, before you compete, you'll have to cooperate within yourself, my fellow worthy opposers. And I want to tell you this. Most men who are successful do cooperate. It's not all about cooperation according to your own perspectives. You cooperate with your brain and your plans for you to be successful. Before you compete, you'll have to cooperate within oneself to achieve that excellence. I'm not against your fact that competition may lead to achieving excellence, but without cooperation, you will not have to achieve excellence. So that makes cooperation a more superior factor in achieving excellence than competition. Well, the other day, Ahmed Salah, gave a goal or scored a goal for the Egyptians. Now tell me, do you want to tell me from the start of the game till the end of the game, did Ahmed Salah just took the ball from the start to the end? If it was not for Mohammed who passed the ball for Ahmed Salah to score the goal, do you tell me Ahmed Salah could have <laughs> proceeded on? And that is why that was cooperation. Now tell me, fine, they were competing. But without that cooperation, could Ahmed Salah achieve that goal? I want to tell you, without cooperation, you can never compete. The proposers have been asked to give an example of a country that had competition without ending up in a fight. The opposers, on the other hand, have been asked to give an example of a multinational corporation that is solely owned by one individual. <laughs> Proposer number three, you have three minutes to answer the question. Concerning the question raised by the audience, concerning a country which achieved competition without fighting, Switzerland. Did you ever see any chance where Switzerland in any one time? had fought with, 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 with any country, or maybe, let's say for instance, during the World War. Was Switzerland there? No. But in the end, you find that they achieved excellence. Now to the, our fellow opposers. They say that competition, there's losers and winners. What does this, this mean? In competition, in order for us to win, there must always be different people with different ideas in the market. So they are trying to say that in competition, there's always winners and losers. Who are these winners? They'll always serve to achieve excellence in the end. And also to our fellow opposers, you say that why Safaricom? Why Safaricom were complaining? Because when there was, maybe let's take chaos in the country. Why? Because they feared Airtel was making the market. They needed to go back to the market, not compete favor favor favorably with the Airtel and others telecom networks. That's why we have to tell you that they were complaining. Now to go back to my point. Competition leads to creativity since one tries to outdo the other. Let's take for instance the phones. Why do you have different brands of phones from different companies? Let's take for instance this Nokia. We have another brand from Samsung. Why can't they just be one? Just one phone, maybe Samsung for the all of us. Because there are some features that Samsung has that Nokia does not have. And there are also some, other, some ones that Techno does not have that Nokia has. That's why there must be competition for, in order for them to achieve excellence in the end. I'd also like to say that, on my first proposal say that competition leads to independency. Since everyone has always to stand for his or her own wealth. That's why I'm deeply trying to tell you that in order for us 
to strive, for excellence to strive in the end, there must always be competition between the two parties. You can't always excel without competing because if you have cooperation between you, you always just have one shared aim. And in the end, it, lead, it will lead to division of maybe the profits earned. But when you compete as one person, the profit earned will be yours. It will be your sweat. So I wonder why we try to say that cooperation leads to excellence, yet competition is always the best option. I rest my case. Father Kaiser, you have three minutes to answer the question. Well, I want to thank my brother for giving me such a wonderful question. But first of all, you need to understand your question before putting it across. Multi-cooperation companies, meaning that these companies, these companies are not owned by one person, but they are owned by many people. When you're cooperating, meaning that you come together and, and be owners of multinational companies. And in fact, when you say that something is multi, it's not owned by one person. It can never be owned by one person. Something that is multi, it is found in every place. Multi-cooperation companies, underline the term cooperation. To my opposer, to the point that you posted, your, your point was really ironical, simply because when you talk about these, these leaders achieving excellence, what kind of excellence are they achieving? The winners achieving excellence, yet as as Kenyans, we cry of anger, we cry of poverty. What excellence are they achieving to us? When we come together and cooperate and bring together our ideas, we will be able to make our country a better place. And for sure, Kenya will come from being a third world country as all. We we don't want Kenya to be a third world country. And we need to come together, bring our heads together, think as a one, think as a, as one people, and let us give let us give out things that will able to take Kenya ahead. Because these same same winners that we see, we find that they are being engaged in we find that they are being engaged in these corruption issues. But when we come together and the opposition, they come together, bring the ideas together, they'll bring the ideas to be able to curb, to curb cases like insecurity, cases like poverty in the society. Most of our people today are dying of poverty, and this is something that is really affecting us. Let us think as one. And I, as I conclude, I would likely to call upon my my opposers, let us come together, think as one. I call you opposers simply because you are opposing what I myself, I am saying. Me, me as myself, I say that co cooperation is superior to competition in achieving excellence. Grace Atieno was my name, Ogande Girls is my school. Thank you. Proposition, you have one minute for your final statement. Our dear opposers, you are trying to tell us that always cooperation is the one that leads to competition. But let's take, for instance, Tanzania. What happened to them? There was cooperation between them. And as per now, what is happening to Tanzania? It's one of the poorest countries, not the poorest, but almost becoming the poorest countries. If they could have competed favorably in the economic market, they would have come back. And now, I'm just trying to tell you guys, two people, one are trying to achieve something. Two people are trying to do each other. In the end, they'll at long last achieve excellence. That's why I'm telling you, cooperation can never always achieve excellence. And only competition, in order for us to find the best among the best, is what always leads to excellence in the end. Position, you have one minute for your final statement. I didn't get you clearly what Tanzania was cooperating for, for them just to be among those countries that are deteriorating when it comes to matters of, of economics. I didn't get you clearly. Now, my fellow opponents, I want to tell you, it's quite ironical for someone to cooperate when, you know, this motion is about competition and cooperation in achieving excellence. You want to achieve excellence. That is something you have in your mind. But you are trying to compare. Is it competition or cooperation that will make me achieve more excellence? If you want to, co to achieve excellence and you know very well you want to compete, how? How then will you want to tell me that you will be deteriorating in achieving excellence? Please. It's quite ironical. Talk about the motion and please understand it well. Proposal number one, 
again, you fail to do the expected role. You didn't break down the motion. You didn't even define the terms and state clearly which position you are taking for us to follow the motion swiftly. Second proposal, that was a good rebuttal uh, where you punched holes about the issue of political competition by not uh, by letting us know that before there is cooperation, there, there is competition. However, time management was not so good. And uh, to the third proposal, you lacked facts. There were so many missing gaps in your presentation. So every time you come on stage, please be prepared, do enough research, and be confident. To the opposer's side, uh, the first speaker you did, the motion justice, there was good definition of terms, clear, clearly taking a stand, but time management was also an issue. Second opposer, you were passionate. However, I had issues with your facts where you, for example, you told us the issue of uh, Safaricom failing to move on because the whole thing was being taken by Airtel. Where was the evidence? And is it true or it's only that the profits went down? We need facts at this level. The third opposer, concerning your style of presentation, I found it a bit unnatural because of excessive use of gestures. So everything, when it is blown out of proportion, it may water down. However, I want to appreciate both teams for having put up a spirited fight. Thank you. And now, the results. Nyabondo High School. The judges saw it fit to award you. 64%, let's appreciate them. <laughs> Uganda Girls High School. You were awarded. 66%, making you the winners of the debate. Congratulations to both schools for giving us a good debate. Congratulations to both teams. Remember, the debate may be over, but the conversation still continues across our social media platforms. The hashtag is GDC for SDGs across all our social media platforms. We'd also like to challenge each and every school to implement at least one sustainable development goal to bring change, not only in their schools, but also their communities. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been your host, Chris Boru. And I am Esperanza Kapanga. Stay tuned for the next episode.